I know like 10 years ago, that was a 75 hour dish. Yeah, it's tough. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years. I have a smile on my face right now because I was on my way to a card show and there's a flea market. There used to be a small flea market that I used to go to all the time that's by the card show. So I said, let me stop by and see if it's still going on. Not only is it still going on, it appears to have gotten larger. Um, <laughs> I was not prepared for this, but listen, when you're a reseller, you have to be prepared for the unpreparable and that's what we're going to do so we're going to go out here and we're going to see if we can find some stuff um wish me luck and we'll see you guys outside the flea market it's a little brisk should have worn heavier clothes let's go i'm excited all right so as soon as we walk into the flea market we did find a box of hats uh, we ended up picking up two of the Winston racing hats here. There were a few other hats that I thought about, um, including this Ohio State uh, Center Nike swoosh one, but it was just too, uh, too messed up for me to mess with, trying to avoid projects. This was a sweet leather hat, um, NFL Players Club, but... <clears throat> You'll see why I pass on that in a second. There was also that bolo hat, but it was so dirty. I didn't feel like messing with it. How much on the hats? Two dollars a piece? And crack, bill crack. You gotta be careful with a lot of these older hats. Um, the bills will go on them. So you always wanna make sure you test out your bills before you go home with the hats. Uh, that way you don't get left with a broken hat. There you go, boss. Thank you. Oh, no, no. Actually, I'm gonna get two. No, no, no. I get two hats. Oh, two. Yeah. Gracias. We did find a table here that was selling sealed sports card wax. Um, so if you guys want to subscribe to our Over the Years Sports channel, make sure you guys subscribe to that. Uh, you can watch a video where I open up some cards that I actually bought here at the flea market. Excuse me. How much on these? Those are nice and ten. Ten? Yep. Okay. Grab one of those. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. You have a good one. So I could have resold those, but I ended up deciding that I was just gonna open them for myself. Now we find this table, which had some pretty cool glass pieces, but the prices weren't really working for me, unfortunately. I really, really uh, liked this Fenton glass, carnival glass bowl uh, right next to the paperweight that I was looking at as well. Oh, I got $30, I'll take 20. It's a Fenton carnival glass, probably 70. Uh, 78, 79. Yeah. yeah. Look at the mark on the back of it. Yeah, on the if place. If it wasn't marked, it'd be before it'd be the before 70s. 72. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. I got a lot of that stuff at home now. And, you know, I bring a piece out now and then, it doesn't sell, it goes back on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. You can go home and look at it, right? Yeah. I know like 10 years ago, that was a 75 hour dish. Yeah, it's tough now. Yeah. plates, man, I just had the whole set. Back when I had them, they were worth like a hundred and quarter a piece. Now you can't get $10 each for them. Yep. 
That's about what I'd probably pay for this one. It'd be about ten bucks. Yeah. But. I think I paid like twenty-four. I understand. I'll try to get my money back. I pr I understand. Nice <laughs> nice I appreciate you, sir. Now we are inside my favorite place at this flea market. There is a lot of stuff here. Uh, usually I get here first thing bright and early before the rest of the flea market opens up. Um, it does get a little crazy in here. If there's a lot of people, you kind of just have to grab stuff, put it in your bag and worry about it later. Um, I might scare some people the way that I'm putting all this glass in my bag, but I promise you I am a professional including the first item that we find was this Hazel Atlas uh, milk glass coffee mug. Uh, not a really valuable item, but a little bit of a fun item and uh, they generally do pretty well. It's nothing crazy, but this was a really interesting piece. This is like a blue art glass candlestick holder, really funky looking. I have not been able to identify it at all, but I thought it was too cool to pass up. Um, I looked at those little figurines, but they were repaired and broken. Uh, so there is a lot to choose from. Normally I would buy a lot more here, but I was very unprepared. I did not expect to be coming here um, and buying stuff, so I didn't have a lot of cash on me. Uh, this was a beautiful candy dish. I'm not sure who the maker is on this yet. Maybe Heisey, maybe Cambridge. Um, it's a little tough to tell uh, right now, but it is a absolutely gorgeous piece. We always check the bottoms of teacups here. Uh, I have found a lot of really nice teacups in the past um, at this same location. So uh, you can see we're kind of walking around, checking the bottom, some pieces like always. Uh, super important to check the markings. You never know what you will find. Uh, but there's just so much awesome stuff here. It gets a little uh, intense. I did pick up this uh, sort of controlled bubbled vase, Burlacante. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It does not glow. It is not signed. It doesn't have a sticker. I have no idea who the maker is, but it's pretty. Um, it'll probably go in one of my live sales upcoming. Same thing with this uh, paperweight. It was a really nice paperweight. It did have somebody's initials etched on it. How are you, sir? Hey, all right. How you been? Happy New Year and all that stuff. Yes, Already sir. Already in March. Good to see you. It's good to see you as always. Yeah, I right? actually found a couple of things. That then we picked up this absolutely gorgeous blue opaline antique glass. It's either a vase or a bottle that's missing its decanter. It's a little tough to tell. Uh, this next item, though, was insane. This coffee mug that we picked up right here. Uh, if you guys don't know, vintage advertising coffee mugs can sell for insane money. This is a super rare one. Yeah, Northeast DC, so. I was like, oh my God, where are they at? Yeah. Everybody's been asking about you guys for, since last year. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. But we're, don't worry, I'm back. I'm excited. <laughs> Really wanted to buy all those lamps, but I couldn't. Instead, I picked up this antique Flow Blue gravy boat, and you could see that it sells for around $50. There were none currently listed uh, as of uh, the making of this video, but this hiding in the back was this insanely cool inkwell. Um, it is a vintage advertising inkwell. It was missing the caps, but I still think I can get around $70 to $80 for that piece. Uh, really interesting piece. Once again, I'm looking for high dollar items, unique items, stuff that kind of stands out to me. So this is a really interesting piece. You can see it's like half clear glass, half frosted glass. It had very, very nice detailed animals um, in the frosting, even like a little dog head on the handle. So the name of this pattern is called Westward Ho. Uh, it was originally made in the 1800s and it was remade by LG Wright in the 1930s. The uh, one that I grabbed appears to be the LG Wright from the 1930s and there was also a matching Sherbert so I grabbed that as well. You just want one of these? Yes ma'am. Okay, I saw, I saw there was a few more. 34. I know. Feels like I never left just now. I know. Right? Unloading the bag. Josie's gonna be so excited. Uh huh. I was like, 
I had a good feeling. Uh-huh. I was like, I gotta, I gotta stop by. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from the flea market. Um, it's so good to be back at the flea market. I'm so excited. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is basically my honey hole. Um, so picked up a lot of cool things the gravy boat um the coffee mug the inkwell holder um we got it's all in here yeah we got some blue opaline glass some really cool um frosted glass by lg right a paperweight uh a cup and saucer which i still haven't identified yet maybe i have by the time the video comes out but super excited uh, a lot of great items very good prices i think we ended up buying a 12 pieces of glass and ceramic for 35 dollars which is uh an absolute bargain so make sure you guys are following us on the one-stop shop we're going to be doing an all-day live on thursday going through some old inventory um and then we also have uh Another live sale on Sunday on Knickknacks District. Uh, so I'll put that up there as well. You guys can find links for those in the description below. Uh, but yeah, it should be a ton of fun uh, moving forward. We're Now that we're going back to the flea market and the weather is starting to break a little bit, although it's been super cold the last couple of days. Um, but we will be uh, put, going out to more yard sales, hopefully, now that spring is kind of here. Uh, and then that means more videos for you guys. But uh, yeah, we're super excited. We might do a video on milk glass coffee mugs. Uh, just to kind of explain how some of those can be worth buku bucks. So stay tuned for that. But uh, we appreciate all the love and support. Uh, it's been a little... We took a little month off because it's just... We've been so busy and we haven't been able to source a lot lately. But we are back. And hopefully we can get to at least two videos a week for you guys hopefully three uh but everybody enjoy the rest of their morning evening afternoon whatever time it may be when you're watching this video we appreciate the love and support don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already as always youtube stay classy peace